you guys, it's Malia Taylor. So we have a little different setup today. If you take a look, this is a dirty canvas. So I had a lot of art materials that I just never got around to using, such as this dirty canvas and those paints over here that I probably used once. So, and like just a bunch of like stuff my boyfriend got me because he knows I like to attempt to do art related things but just never commit to it. So today's the day. First of all, you read the title, it is inspired by Jenna Marbles. I was crazy impressed, as I'm sure all of you were, with how her painting turned out. It just kind of took me by surprise and I thought make one that not turned out so great so we can, you know, we can feel fulfilled. I just wanted to give this a try. I have materials to do this. I don't know if it's the right paint. I have yet to look into that, but I'm gonna attempt it either way. So here we are. I'm gonna follow Jenna Marbles' Bob Ross painting. I mean, come on, everybody knows that I'm not gonna explain it, but he's great, so we're gonna do that. It's not gonna be peaceful Bob Ross environment. It's gonna be stressed, self-hating Malia Taylor environment. So welcome, let's get started. Just so you know, I'm not like purposely trying to make this look ugly, it's just I'm working with what I have, which is, you know, what I pretty much always do on this channel. Reese painting. I feel like you can see my brush strokes and you can't see his. You can tell that my easel is very sturdy because it bounces every time that I do something. Now, without cleaning the brush, I'll go right into. I'm just kind of mixing it with the white to see if I can lighten my yellow at all. Do you see my cat trying to get behind there? Everything's like blending in with the white that I laid down. All right, like this is what I have and then this is how it turns out. Do you see how muted that is? That's the thing about Bob, like how effortlessly he makes everything look. It just like blows your mind. Like how the heck do you do it? Like he's sitting there showing you how to do it, but it's like, it's so flawless. It's like watching a magician. See how I like go into this orangey color and then it's like, oh, something, no, nothing really happens. I like hurt myself painting. <laughs> I have to like brace the canvas. Mine is so faded. What did I do wrong? Don't lose faith. Can I like turn it into a fan brush? That's why artists who like just come up with this kind of stuff on the spot, like, what are you? Because like, I just can't visualize like that. There it is, it's pretty much finished. It's like it's weird because like over here I can still see through the canvas, but yeah, I definitely needed to watch Bob's video just to go at a slower pace so I could catch up 
I really think I want to give this a serious go once I get more brushes and paint and I think I want to try this again. Kind of happy with how it turned out. I had a feeling it would turn out a lot worse but I don't know. What do you guys think? So this was like my official like first time painting like legit painting and trying to make something so who knows maybe this is a start of me getting into painting. Thank you guys so much for watching. My camera actually died because I only have one battery so I had to like stop mid painting and let my camera charge so I don't know if you can tell but <laughs> yeah that's that's pretty much it this is me painting following Jenna Marbles um Bob Ross painting yeah I I'm actually surprisingly pleased I mean you might have other thoughts but I, I was having low standards for myself, so the fact that it turned out somewhat decent, I, I think I'm pretty proud. <laughs> so thank you so much. Be sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.